Hey everyone, welcome back to How Train Your Gavin. Today I am doing my most anticipated middle grade releases of 2021. This is quarter two, so all of the books that are coming out in April, May and June that I am personally excited for. Now there are a lot of books that are coming out in April, May and June that I know about and there'll be so many more that I don't know about. So I do have a spreadsheet that I will link down below with all of the 2021 middle grade releases that I personally know about and I'm pulling a lot of these from that list so don't feel free to check that out. I'm sure I'm missing quite a lot on the list as well there's no possible way that I don't know about every single middle grade book that will come out ever but this list that I am including in this video are the ones that I am the most excited for. Firstly on April 1st we have Harley Hitch and the Iron Forest by Vashti Hardy and it's illustrated by George Ermos. This one is a little bit younger than Vashti Hardy's previous books but it does follow Harley and she lives in a world where science and invention is a way of life. Her home is called Inventia and I think there is this some strange fungus that's growing in the forest and Holly has to try and find out what's happening so that she can save her home. Also on April 1st is Featherlight by Peter Bunzel. Thank you so much Barrington Stoke for sending me this. This is a dyslexia friendly book. This one follows Darren and she lives with her father in a lighthouse and they have this important job of keeping the lantern lit. However during a storm Darren is left alone in the lighthouse but finds that the oil in the lamp has gone out. She has to take a fish on board to the sea to find help from an unusual source. Also on April 1st is Mayhem Mission by Bahana Islam. This one is also illustrated by Farah Kandeka and is being published by the Amazing Knights of and it is the first in the Laugh Out Loud Life series. It follows a young boy whose sister is going to be getting married but he doesn't want her to. He wants things to stay the same but if she gets married that means he'll have to become the responsible one and he does not want that at all so he ends up trying to cause as much chaos and mayhem to stop the wedding. On April 6th we have Arusha and the City of Gold by Roshni Chokshi. Now this actually comes out on May 6th in the UK so for a change we don't have to wait for months for an Arusha book to come out or a Pandava Quintet series book to come out because usually the UK has to wait months but we're only waiting one month on this one so I'm happy about that. But the Pandava Quintet series it does follow Aru and she has unleashed a sleeper demon and the sleeper demon is trying to unleash another bigger evil that Aru has to try and contain. It does have Hindu mythology woven into it as well so it's just a really fast paced incredible series. It is published by Rick Ryden Presents in the United States so if you are a fan of Percy Jackson you will love Arusha. I do have an interview with Roshni Chokshi this Friday although if you're watching this in the future then it's probably already happened. However I will still link the interview down below because it will stay up on my channel afterwards so do check that out. Do set a reminder if you are watching this before then but I'm really excited about that. Out on April 13th is The Last Wind Witch by Jennifer Adam. This one follows Breeder and she lives in the small village of Oak Hollow. She is a head witch's apprentice however she catches the attention of an evil queen. She has to flee from the queen's huntsman and discover more about her family and magic along the way. Sounds like a Snow White retelling but middle grade. I'm not 100% sure. But just judging from the synopsis that's what it sounds like to me but I, I don't know. I, I can't say anything saying it is. Out on April 15th is The Strange Worlds Travel Agency The Edge of the Ocean by L.D. Lipinski. This is the sequel to The Strange Worlds Travel Agency. The Strange Worlds Travel Agency is set in a world where people can transport themselves through suitcases to different worlds. Now we follow Flick who is our main protagonist. She comes across a rundown travel agency that is run by Jonathan and together they go on these incredible adventures. In the second book they get summons from a pirate queen and I have read it and loved it so yeah. I am also doing an interview with LD Lipinski on the 9th of April. I will link that in the description box as well which you will be able to watch even if you cannot catch it live and I'm really excited about that interview too. Our April 29th is Moonchild City of the Sun by a Aisha Bushby. This is the sequel to Voyage of the Lost and Found and I adored that book. I thought it was so great and it is a bit of an Arabian Nights inspired story. The first book followed Amira and she lived on the sea with her sea mothers. However, a storm causes them to dock and get help and unfortunately Amira's Ginny gets kidnapped. From what I gather, we follow a different moon child in the second book called Farah and she doesn't think that she is cut out for an adventurous life. Also on April 29th is Dragon Legend by Katie and Kevin 
Sang. I also have an interview with Katie and Kevin Sang that's coming up on the 23rd of April. So if you can, do check it out live. But if not, I do have a link to it in the description box so you can still watch it after it's happened. But Dragon Legend is the sequel to Dragon Mountain and it follows a young boy called Billy who goes to the middle of nowhere, China to go to this camp. Now him and three new friends end up discovering a legendary place where dragons exist. Out on the 4th of May is the Firebird song by Arnie Flores. This one is set in the kingdom of Lyrica and there used to be a firebird there that kept the peace. However, one day the firebird disappeared so this evil spectrist has started to terrorise the kingdom with magic that she has pulled from the volcano. We join young Pruitt and Princess Calliope on a quest to find out what's happened as well as to save the kingdom. Also out on May 4th is The Last Fallen Star by Gracie Kim. This one is going to be the first book in the Gifted Clan series that has been published by Rick Ryden Presents. Riley's sister Hattie has been initiated into the Gom clan and they are Korean healing witches. Riley wants to be like her sister but she is a Saram which means she is without magic. Riley and Hattie decide to try this really forbidden spell to share Hattie's magic. However, it puts Hattie's life in mortal danger and Riley has to go and find the last fallen star in order to save her, which in this world is an impossible task. Also out on May 4th is The Adventure Is Now by Jess Redman. This one follows Milton who wants to be a naturalist explorer. One summer his parents ship him off to a lone island where his uncle lives and there the island has been threatened so he has to kind of use his environmental skills to try and save this island. And on May 6th is The Night Silver Promise by Annalise Avery. This is set in a world where people get a track of stars on their wrist. However, our main protagonist Paisley has never had a track of stars on her wrist before. When she gets hers, it predicts that she is doomed to die. Her brother is dragon touched and her mother is in danger, so she has to end up saving both. And it is the first book in the Celestial Mechanism Cycle series. I've read it, it's a really great, adventurous read. Also on May 6th is Feast of the Evernight by Ross McKenzie. This is the second book in the Evernight series. Now the first Evernight is about the Evernight that plunges a kingdom into darkness and there is one spell that will be able to save this kingdom from the Evernight. Not entirely sure what the second book is going to be about, however it does sound like another really promising and exciting read from Ross Mackenzie. Also out on May 6th is Otherland by Louis Stowell. The Otherland is a dangerous magical underground where there are vampires and gods and everything else you can think of. Myra and Rohan end up discovering that Rohan's sister has been kidnapped and they have to go through these trials that set by the Queen of Otherland in order to save Rowan's sister. On May 11th we have Thanks A Lot Universe by Chad Lucas. We follow Brian who is a really anxious kid but he is friends with Ezra who is extremely popular. Ezra wants to help Brian however he feels like if people see him help him then they will know that he has a crush on him. When Brian and his brother run away Ezra has no choice but to reach out. This sounds like a really cute LGBTQ plus middle grade. Also on May 11th is The Shape of Thunder by Jasmine Walker and Jasmine Rowan other words for home which is a fantastic middle grade. Cora hasn't spoken to her best friend Quinn in a year even though they live next door to each other. Cora is still dealing with so much grief after losing her sister in a school shooting and Quinn is carrying the guilt of what her brother has done who turns out was the shooter in that school shooting. On the day of Cora's 12th birthday Quinn ends up leaving a box on her doorstep. Quinn decides that the only way to overcome this guilt she has to go back in time to stop her brother from doing what he's done. They try to unravel the mysteries of time travel together in the whole that they will heal from this grief. And on May 13th is Hawk Lights by Tim Tilly. Hawk Lights follows a young boy who was born in a matchstick factory and a baby just suddenly drops into his lap one day. Wick, who is our main protagonist, ends up looking after the baby and in return for his kindness, the Guardians of the Forest allows him to escape the matchstick factory where Wick will be able to start a new life in the wild. Out on May 18th is Orphie's Ghost by Justina Island. This one is set in 1922 and it follows Ophelia who can see ghosts. She ends up taking a job up at Daphne manner with her mother where she makes friends with a spirit whose life ended dramatically. Ophelia can see other ghosts but she wants to see if she can help this ghost because their death was unjust. On May 20th we have Crater Lake Evolution by Jennifer Killick coming out. It is a sequel to Crater Lake where a year six class ends up going to Crater Lake Activity Centre where really weird and bizarre things start to happen. There's a bloodstained man that tries to stop the coach and the staff at the Activity Centre are very unwelcoming so something is 
is going on at Crater Lake. Crater Lake Evolution is the sequel to that and follows the same characters six months later. On May 27th we have Rainbow Grey by Laura Ellen Anderson. This one is set in the Netherlands and we follow Ray Grey who has no weather magic of her own so she wants to be an earth explorer. However she takes a forbidden trip to earth and she ends up getting transformed into Rainbow Grey. There are a group of rogues who are causing unpredictable weather on earth so Ray and her friends have to try and stop what's going on. I have got a reading blog for this book if you want to check it out I will link it down in the description box and I do appear as a character in this book as well. <laughs> on May 27th The Chance to Fly by Addie Stroker and Stacey Davidowitz comes out and that is a story about a young girl who is in a wheelchair. Nat is obsessed with musicals and wants more than anything to be in one. There are auditions in this new town where she moves to for Wicked. It's going to be a kids production of it and it's her favourite musical ever so she wants more than anything to have a part in this musical. Out on June 1st is The Ship of Stolen Words by Fran Wilde. This one is about a young boy who is always getting into trouble but he can always get out of it by saying the word sorry. However a group of goblins ends up stealing his word sorry so he's never able to say it again so he travels to the goblin world to steal his word back. However there is a, a depository of stolen words and he needs to stop the goblins from stealing words from other people. Out on June 3rd is Twitch by MG Leonard and this is going to be the first in a series called The Twitchers. This one follows Twitch and he is so passionate about bird watching. On the first day of summer he goes to his secret hiding place but there are policemen everywhere. A convicted robber has broken out of prison and Twitch must use his bird watching abilities to see if he can find and solve this mystery. Also on June 3rd is Children of the Quicksands by Ephua Traoré. This one follows Simi and she goes to live with her long lost grandmother in a small Nigerian village. Her grandmother is very tight lipped about what has happened in the family in the past so Simi ends up going on an adventure herself to find out. However she finds herself caught in the quicksands of this Forbidden Lake and that is where her fantastical journey begins. On June 8th is The Curse of the Forgotten City by Alex Astor. This one is the sequel to Curse of the Night Witch which is the Emblem Island series and it is filled with Colombian mythology. This is set on Emblem Island where everybody gets a lifeline and it tells you what their life is going to be like and they get these emblems which tells them how they're going to spend it. Tor Luna is our main protagonist and he gets a leadership emblem however he does not want that so during a bonfire he throws it in hoping that he can make a wish for a new emblem. The next morning Tor wakes up with a marking and it has actually shortened his lifeline. He has been cursed and the only way to break that curse is to visit the Night Witch. Don't know what the second book is going to be about however that is the first book and what the series is about. It sounds really interesting so yeah. Out on the 10th of June is Hazel Bly in the Deep Blue Sea by Ashley Herring Blake. This one follows Hazel who has lost her mum in a kayaking accident and she has a scar on her face. The family ends up moving to a small town in Maine where there is this legend that a girl was so heartbroken she ran into the sea and was turned into a mermaid. Now Hazel is also creeped out by this story because it turns out Hazel looks just like the girl who turned into the mermaid. Also on June 10th is The Crackle Dawn Dragon by Abby Elphinstone. This one is the third and I think the final book in the Unmapped Chronicles series which started with Rumble Star and then Jungle Drop came out last year and now we have The Crackle Dawn Dragon. This one follows Zebedee who has been on the run however she comes across Crackle Dawn which is a part of the Unmapped Kingdoms and goes on another incredible adventure to finally put a stop to to the evil harpy Morg. Also out on June 10th is A Glass House of Stars by Shirley Ma. This one I believe is told in second person and it follows Meek Sing Lim who comes to new land with her family. Her ever-changing house is confusing and she struggles to fit in with the kids at school. Meek Sing's life comes crashing down and only her two new friends can help her and to try and make the stars shine a little bit brighter. And finally also on June 10th is Skyborn by Sinead O'Hart. This one is a prequel to The Eye of the North and it follows Bastion who lives at the circus. The ringmaster of the circus is falling on a hard times so he makes a deal with Dr. Bauer. Bauer wants a box that belonged to Bastion's mother from a faraway island and Bastion he lost his mother years ago so he wants to keep this memento for himself. He has to overcome so many dangers in order to keep this box out of Dr. Bauer's hands. So those are most of the books that I'm really excited for that are coming out over the next three months. I most likely have missed quite a few off the list however I do still have that spreadsheet which I will link down in the description box below so you can check that out and see other middle grade books that are coming out in the next three months. I will be doing another quarterly middle grade anticipated releases at the end of June so do check that out as well and I will leave a link to the video I did for January to March in case there are some recommendations in there that you might have missed. So that's it from me I hope you enjoyed it please leave a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. Do leave a comment down below and tell me what you're excited about that's coming out in April, May and June and I will see you in the next video. Bye!